Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Noreen. Today, I'm going to show you the simplest and the most effective way to submit assignment, presentation or any piece of work in the Google Classroom as a student. I will be showing you both in laptop and in mobile phone device. So let's get started. To get started, go to Google Classroom. That means uh, you will have to click on classroom.google.com on your laptop or Chromebook. Once you get into your uh, classroom, you will be taken to your stream and the easiest way to navigate to your assignment is under the classwork tab. Once you have clicked in the classwork tab, you will be taken to your assignment. There we can see that there are two assignments and uh, let's go for this one. Let's click on the assignment again. Once you are in the assignment, you can see the due date the due date here, the assignment name and uh, the description here and the points, how many points are uh, distributed for this assignment. If you have any question regarding the assignment, you may ask by commenting here. But this section is uh, public. All other students of the class will be able to see the comment. However, if you want to make a private comment that only your teacher will be able to see, you will be uh, commenting by, from here. Now, you can, to submit your assignment, you will need to go to add or create button. So you will click here. Here you may access to your Google Drive. That means if you have any assignment saved in your Google Drive, you may take it from here. Or you may also use the link of something from the web. Or you may upload a file from your computer. And here you can even create fresh uh, or new document on your Google Drive and submit after finishing the, your task. So let's think that I've already created an assignment and it's on my computer. So I will be, I'll need to upload that file from my computer into this uh, Google Classroom. Then I will be clicking add or create button. And I'm going to click on file and I'm gonna click uh, that upload. You can see upload option is here. I'm gonna click on the browse. That means I'm, 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 I'm going to browse my computer and I'll select the PDF file that I have saved for, my, uh, for submitting my assignment. Give it a second to process and then my assignment that I need uh, my teacher to grade is right here. You can see, I can check my assignment by clicking here and it will be open up see and if everything is okay then if you want to attach another file you may also add another file that means not one file you may attach multiple files here once you are sure that you are done with attaching your file then you will click on turn in see you will make sure that you are turning in that means you are submitting once you click on the turn in button, your assignment will be submitted to your teacher. And you will be sure whether the assignment is submitted or not by looking at the unsubmit button. That means if the unsubmit button pops up, you will be sure that the, uh, the assignment has been submitted to your teacher. However, if the due date is over, you will not be able to unsubmit. That means sometimes you, you may need to unsubmit your assignment uh, in order to uh, erase something or in order to uh, correct it. After the due date is over, you will not be able to unsubmit. If you want to submit it from your mobile phone, you will go to the Google Classroom app. Then you will go to your classroom. And you will find that uh, the, the stream, classwork, and the people uh, icons are in the below of the mobile phone. And you will go to your classwork and you will click on your assignment. And you will see the descriptions here, over here. And um, you will see the your work and assigned. Uh, it, it will be coming towards the, uh, towards the lower part of your mobile phone. And you will slide this uh, your work into the upward direction and you will see that there are two icons are here one is uh, add attachment another one is mark as done 
so you will have to add an attachment as you you uh, you have saved the file of your assignment into your mobile phone and you will click on the add attachment and you will upload a file from your mobile phone device and in the recent you will find some um, files and you will just click on one and you will attach that file into your mobile phone just give it a give them a second uh, once the file is uploaded you will see that hand in button will pop up and you will click on the hand in button and uh, you will make sure that you you want to hand in that means you want to submit once the assignment is submitted you will see that an unsubmit button will pop up here okay so uh, there is another option and the easiest option to uh, submit your assignment from your mobile phone is that you will directly go to the file that you have saved um, after preparing your assignment and from that uh, you will get into the file you will then uh, click the share icon here and you will see uh, the share as attachment will pop up you will click on them and you will select the pdf version and automatically your uh, then there you will see different options and you will have to click the classroom icon and then you will see that uh, you will go to this uh, attach to assignment that that means and then uh, the, the the left assignment you will have to submit it there then whenever you will click on the assignment topic your work will automatically be added as an at attachment here see uh, the, the attachment has been added and you will have to click on the hand in button then the attachment will be submitted